With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Here's Hoppy now with another new story. We call this one Hoppy Plays a Hunch. California and I didn't need much urging when Buck Peters told us we could take a couple of weeks off from the Bar 20. We'd been mighty busy the past few months, and the change of scenery sounded good to both of us. That's how, a few days later, we happened to stop by the Wilsons' Flying W Ranch outside the little town of Navajo Springs. The Wilsons were old friends of California's. I tell you, California, Chet's just going to key right over when he sees you. How long has it been, anyhow? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Must be two, uh, three years now, I reckon. Two years and four months is what it's been, Mom. Now, Fran, how do you know how long since California was here? I remember it was right after my 17th birthday, and he brought me that hand mirror all the way from Santa Fe. <laughs> By golly, she's right, Sarah. For <laughs> sakes alive. Don't seem that long ago. Oh, I don't know where the time goes. Mm, sure slips by fast, all right. Uh, where'd you say Chet was? Oh, he's just going over to Farley Vincent's place. He ought to be back before long now. Farley Vincent? Uh, name sounds familiar. Sure. You've heard Chet and me speak of him. He's the feller who owns the big rock and V outfit over west. Oh, sure, sure. Ain't he the one that loaned you all the money when you was having such a time of it? Yeah, he's the one. We're just now getting clear. That's what Chet's doing now, taking the last 4000 over to Vincent so we can tear up that note. Well, now ain't that good news. Yes, sir. Ought to call for celebration. Ha, <laughs> uh, 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 What, you so quiet for Hoppy? Well, I... Land sakes, we ain't even given Mr. Cassidy a chance to open his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Mrs. Wilson. I know how it is when you haven't seen old friend for a while. You go right ahead. Well, I knew California'd be glad to hear the news. We've had our troubles with the place here, but now they're all over. And just in time, too. Just in time? Yeah. She means we only had four more days left to pay the note, Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> oh, I think Farley Vincent was hoping we wouldn't be able to scrape up enough to pay him off. He'd probably like nothing better than to take over this ranch. Well, he's probably not the only one that'd like to do that. You're about the nicest grazed land I've seen in these parts. And plenty of water, too. Yes, sir. We're mighty lucky folks. Well, you deserve it if anybody does. But there's one thing I can't figure out for the life of me. What's that, California? I can't understand how a party gal here, like Fran, ain't got herself hitched up double by this time. <laughs> California. I was wondering the same thing. Well, if she and Grant Barrett had their way about it, I guess they'd be married tonight. Mom, please. Listen. That'll be Chet now, I reckon. Good. <laughs> I can hardly wait to see his face when he sees me. Yep, that's Chet, all right. <laughs> the way he's getting off on that horse, you'd think he'd rheumatize and... Uh... California, look. Come on, he's been shot. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Hoppy Plays a Hunch. Hoppy and California were on a short vacation and stopped at the Flying W Ranch to see the Wilsons, old friends of California's. They found Mrs. Wilson and her daughter at home, but were told that Chet Wilson had gone to deliver the final payment due on a note which they owed Farley Vinson. When Wilson finally returned... California and the others rushed out to greet him, only to discover that he had been shot. Thank goodness it wasn't worse, Chet. Your leg will probably be stiff a few days, but that dressing ought to take care of it. Thanks, Sarah. I'm not worried about the leg. It's the money that's the worst. Now, we'll worry about that later. Fran and I'll go fix us all some supper now. I know you want to talk to California and Mr. Cassidy anyhow. Well, I made a fine mess of things, man. Oh, no, don't go talking that away, Chet. Looks like a man ain't safe nowhere nowadays. Uh, what happened anyway? Did you get a look at the sidewinder that shot you, Mr. Wilson? No, that's the trouble. 
Whoever did it shot from some brush up ahead of me. That's about all I know, because right afterwards, my horse reared and threw me. The same bullet that went through your leg grazed your horse's flank. Yeah. Anyway, I wasn't expecting anything like that, and I lit on my head. I don't know how long I was knocked out, but when I come to and crawled over to my horse, the saddlebag was gone and no sign of anybody. Where'd all this happen, Mr. Wilson? About five mile up the east trail toward Vincent's place. There's uh, three big cottonwoods right together there with some brush around close to them. I guess the varmint was hiding there, just waiting for me. Anybody know you had all that money and were going to take it to Vincent's today? Yeah, lots of people. I guess I should have kept my mouth shut about it, but, well, you know how a feller is. Sure, sure. I drew the money out yesterday, and before I left town, I stopped at the saloon, bought a few old friends a drink to sort of celebrate. Do you have any idea who might have done this, Mr. Wilson? Well... How about, uh, Vincent? Oh, I don't think it was him. Although I know he'd like to get the flying W. Still, I suppose he could have done it. Your wife tells us you and Vincent's foreman don't get along too well. Oh, young Barrett. No, I ain't got much use for him. Mainly because I don't think he's good enough to marry Fran. I've told him to stay away from here, and he was pretty mad, but... Hey, now, wait just a minute here. What is it, Mr. Wilson? I just remembered. He told me he wouldn't let me nor anybody else stand in the way of his marrying Fran. And if I was dead, he'd have a clear road, wouldn't he? Sure, sure. And if he married her, he'd have the ranch to boot. Practical. Still, uh... Uh, I wouldn't be too quick to suspect anybody without more to go on than that, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, I guess you're right, Hoppy. But the more I think of it, the more I'm sure it was one of them, too. Vincent stands to get the ranch as it is, and if I'd have been killed, Barrett would have had my daughter and the ranch. You still get four days to raise the money, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> Sure. I couldn't raise 400 in that time, let alone 4,000. Do you think there's any chance of Vincent's giving you more time? I can see you don't know Vincent. Nope. I'm afraid I'm licked. Well, I wouldn't give up just yet. We got four days. We might be able to locate your own money by that time. Oh, uh, thanks, man. I appreciate your offering to help, but... But, but nothing. Hoppy and me will figure out something. You wait and see. <laughs> But, Hoppy, we've been out here since sunup and covered every square foot within a half mile of where Chet was robbed, and we ain't found a single thing. Uh, I guess we might as well be... Wait a minute. Look over by that bush. Huh? Uh, what is it, Hoppy? I think it's what we've been looking for. Wilson's saddlebag. Come on. Yeah, Pitch, it's all right. Uh, there's a flying W stamped on the flap. Let's have a look inside. Uh, empty as my pockets just a four payday. <laughs> you didn't expect to find any money at it, did you? Why, no, no, of course not. But I don't see what good it's going to do us when, uh, now that we found it. And, well, uh, maybe it won't do any good. Well, here, uh, let me throw it in my horse and let's get going. Wait a minute, California. We're leaving it right here. I got an idea that might be worth trying. Huh? It's just a hunch. It may not be any good. But we can't lose anything by giving it a try. Well, I suppose you know what you're doing. Come on. We still got to go see if Vincent will give Chet Wilson more time to pay off that note. How come we're heading for the corral here? Vincent ain't likely to be down this way, is he? No, but Grant Barrett is. I'm kind of interested in uh, meeting him, too. Holy smokes! Look at that fella sticking that bronc. <laughs> yeah, he's mighty good, all right. Attaboy, Grant. Give it to him. Uh, excuse me, fella. Huh? Oh, howdy. Is that Grant Barrett riding the bronc? Yep, that's him. About the best man with a horse or a six-gun you'll ever see, too. Turn, but don't believe it. Ah, looks like he's got that unwhipped. Did you all want to see him? Yeah, we do. Yeah, reckon I'd better go tell him. Just a second. Nice-looking young fella, ain't he? Uh, Barrett, I mean. Yeah, but don't forget the old saying, California. Uh, what's that, Hoppy? Looks are only skin deep, remember? Russ tells me you fellas wanted to see me. That's right, Barrett. I am Cassidy, and this is California Carlson. We're from the Bar 20 over southwest. So? Uh, I'm an old friend of Chet Wilson's. Uh, we're staying with him for a few days. Oh. Well, what about it? What did you want with me? We came over to see your boss. 
Just thought we'd like to meet you, so long as we heard so much about you. I can guess what you must have heard if old man Wilson was doing the talking. He's not uh, talking much since he was shot yesterday. Shot? Wilson was shot? Well, who did it? Was he hurt bad? Ah, take it easy, Barrett. Uh, he just got hit in the leg. Not too bad. But the varmint that done it stole $4,000 off him, too. Well, I'll be. Wilson was on his way over here to pay the money to Vincent. To pay Vincent? Well, I thought he'd already paid it. What made you think that? Why? Hey, what business is it of yours what I think anyway? We're just interested in finding out who dry ghost Wilson, that's all. You're acting like you think maybe I might have done it. Could have been you, easy as not. Why, you... Now, don't start accusing me Take of it. Take it easy, Barrett. Nobody's accused you of anything. Young fella, a hoppy's got an idea for catching the sneaking coyote, and it won't take... Quiet, the... California. We've got more important things to do than argue. we better get up and see Vincent. Well, come in, men. Come in. Sit down. Thanks, Mr. Vincent. So you're friends of Chet Wilson's, eh? He's a good man, Chet. Well, what can I do for you? If you're looking for work, I'm afraid you're out of luck. I have more men than I need now. Ah, we're not looking for work, Mr. Vincent. We came on business. Oh, well, that's different. Well, we come to see if you wouldn't give Chet more time to pay off the note you hold in his place. Uh, He was shot and robbed on his way over here yesterday. What's that? That's right, Vincent. Somebody got the $4,000 he was bringing to you. Why, Why, that's outrageous. Must have been a pretty bold gunman to pull something like that in broad daylight. Well, whoever it was didn't take any chances riding in the bush and not giving Wilson any warning. And that 4000 was practical all the money Chet had. We thought if you could give him another 90 days, uh, he's got stock that'll bring that much by then, so you wouldn't be taking any chances. Well, this, uh, this puts me in an awkward position, men. I'd like to be able to agree, but uh, I can't. See, I have some obligations of my own which must be met. Hmm. I was counting on that money from Chet. I need it right away. Yeah, we get it, Benson. Chet told us you wanted his ranch, so it looks like you'll get it after all. Oh, now, just a minute here. I can't afford to lose $4,000 simply because Chet is a friend of mine. In other words, you won't give him uh, any more time. Well, let's put it that I can't give him any more time. Let's go, Hoppy. Huh? Yeah, I guess we might as well. Only thing left to do is keep a close lookout and hope some of those 20 and $50 bills turn up around Navajo Springs. Well, what good would that do? How would you know whether it was part of the stolen money or not? Why, by the... Never mind, California. Oh, I see. Chet has a record of the serial numbers. Eh? He would have if he hadn't been uh, forgetful. But, uh, well, we think maybe we can locate that list. I wish you luck, man. And I'm sorry about... Forget it, Vincent. Can't be helped, I guess. Come on, California. Let's get into town. You're sure you want this right on the front page, mister? Yeah, if you can put it there. Oh, I can put it there all right. I have to rearrange things a bit, but that's all right. Just seems like a funny place to put an ad, that's all. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it does at that. What time do you start printing, anyway? Oh, I'll be running them off in about an hour. You were lucky you got here when you did. You see, I'm only putting it out once a week now, but I hope to put out two editions a week pretty soon. I suppose everybody for miles around gets this paper. Oh, sure. Everybody in town subscribes, and so do all the ranches. I got a boy who'll have the paper to every house by supper time. Well, that's good service. Yes, sir. Of course, the ranches all pick theirs up along with their mail at the post office and the general store. I'll bet they look forward to getting outside news, too. <laughs> they sure do. Yeah, before long, you'll see the Rana hands from every outfit around these parts They're coming in after the mail and the paper. Well, how are you making out, Hoppy? Oh, fine. Mr. Evans here is taking good care of me. Did you see the sheriff? I sure did. Told him just what you said. And, good, uh, good. Is he going to play along with us? Yep. I uh, didn't give him no details, but he's anxious to help. Fine. We'll be heading back for the Wilson Ranch in an hour or so, just as soon as Mr. Evans starts running the papers off. I sure hope your idea works, Hoppy. <laughs> so do I. We ought to know by sunup tomorrow. Yeah, and speaking of sunup, I feel like I hadn't had anything to eat since sunup this morning. (laughs) That's probably because you haven't. 
But we can't be more than four or five miles from the Flying W. As soon as we get there, we can both put on the feed bag. Yeah, yeah. Some more of Sarah's cooking uh, would sure hit the spot. <laughs> uh, golly, that sun's plenty bright. Uh, we'll get a little shade in a minute now. The trail runs right alongside those big boulders at the foot of the hills. Yeah, yeah. This country is a mighty pretty, Hoppy. Mm-hmm. I'll bet you man could... <laughs> hey! What? What? They... California, head for cover. Hurry! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Hoppy Plays a Hunch. Hoppy in California, in trying to help Chet Wilson, discovered his empty saddlebag and some brush not far from where Wilson had been robbed. They left it where it was and continued on to the Rocking V Ranch of Farley Vinson. Vinson refused to give Chet Wilson more time to pay the money due on his note. So Hoppy in California went into town to put into effect a plan to trap the man who shot their friend. On their way back to the Wilson Ranch, they are met by bullets. Hey, low, California. If we can make it to that border, we'll be all right. I'm right with you, Hoppy. Ah, there. Oh, topper. Well, that was a close one. What do we do now? Now, let's just stay close to these boulders and see if we can circle around behind. Now, keep your eyes open. <laughs> Now, who'd you reckon would want to take pot shots at us? The same side, Whiten, that shot your friend Chet. But why? We ain't got no money. <laughs> it's not money he's after. Whoever it is thinks we know more than we do about the Wilson shooting. He's either trying to kill us off or scare us off one or the well, other. Uh, better be careful, Hoppy. He might be right behind that rock uh, point. Yeah. Let me get a look here. Can you see anything? Is he there? No, I guess he's hightailed it. Well, come on. Maybe we can catch up to him. No use wasting our time. Whoever it is knows this country a lot better than we do. Wouldn't stand much chance catching him now. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Let's get back to the flying W, and we'd better be extra careful. He might show up again. Like you two are mighty busy today, California. Chet and me sure appreciate it, too. Oh, shucks. Don't mention it, Sarah. I'm just sorry that Vincent wouldn't agree to give you more time. Would have been nice, but in a way you can't blame him, I guess. He's a businessman first and a rancher second. Hey, what's this? An Avajo Spring Sentinel? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hoppy brought it out. Uh, He was into the printing office for a while. Well, what's the news here? (laughs) You should never give it to him, California. Now he won't say a word till he's read every last... Hey, 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 what in tarnation's this? Huh? What are you talking about, Chet? This ad right here on the front page. Look. <laughs> Lost brown leather saddle bag with flying W stamped on flaps. Reward of $200 will be paid to anyone finding and returning this saddle bag. Contact Chet Wilson at Flying W Ranch immediately. I never told that fellow at the printing office I wanted that ad put in the paper. I know it, Chet. It was Hoppy's idea. But what for? I don't see... Why, there wasn't worth more than five or ten dollars. Uh, of course there wasn't. Uh, that's the idea. If you saw an ad like that with a big reward for an old saddlebag, uh, uh, what did you think? Why, well, I'd think it must have something awful important or valuable inside. But you know well as I do, there... Wouldn't still be any money in it. Sure, I know that, but but whoever stole that money, when he sees that ad, is going to think he missed something, ain't he? Well, maybe. Remember the little pocket you see inside of a lot of saddlebags? Couldn't put money in it, uh, not much anyhow, but uh, it'll hold a piece of paper. Yeah, mine had a little pocket, but I didn't have anything in it. I still don't see what good that ad in the paper. (laughs) I ain't told you yet, but uh, Hoppy and I found your saddlebag this morning, uh, about a half a mile from where you were shot. You did? Well, where is it? We left it right where we found it. That's the whole idea. Oh, I see. You figure to hide out and keep a watch over it. See if anybody shows up to look through it again, huh? That's exactly what we're aiming to do. As soon as we've had some supper, uh, Hoppy and me are going out there again. The sheriff's meeting us at the three cottonwoods at sundown. Well, the 
it's still here where we left it, California. Yeah. See, Sheriff? Right by that bush there. I see it, all right. Just hope we're not out here in a wild goose chase. So do I, Sheriff. Here, hand me that package, California. Yeah, here you are, Hoppy. And you better hurry, Cassidy. It's almost dark. I'll be just a minute. Mm-hmm. It's going to be hard to see tonight. No moon to help us. Might be better that way. Ah, uh, we're all set now, men. I'll leave the horses tied where they are, back of those trees. Yeah, there's a nice clump of brush right over there where we could hide, Hoppy. Yeah, that ought to do all right. Wouldn't hurt to be closer, though. Well, let's get settled. We may have a long night ahead. <laughs> Midnight, Hoppy. Uh, maybe this ain't gonna work. We'll wait till sun up if we have to. Now see here, Cassidy. Do you sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> nope. I told you it was just a hunch, Sheriff. Yeah. Mighty uncomfortable here to be fooling around on the hunch. Shh. Listen. Be quiet now. Sounds like we got company after all. I can't see anybody, can you? No, but somebody's going right to where that saddlebag is. Must have been looking in the saddlebag. We better sneak up and jump on him, Hoppy. I can make him out right now. See? Oh, blast that horse of mine. Look, Hoppy. Oh, he heard the sheriff's horse. He's gonna. Get your hands up and stay where you are. Oh, God, turn it anyway. He got away slick as a whistle. Come on, get your horses, Ben. Oh, you crazy man. We couldn't follow him in a night like this. I think we'll find him where we're going to the Rocking V. <laughs> Light on. Uh, somebody's up and around all right. Yeah? Oh. Aren't you going to ask us in, Bert? Why, why, sure. Come in. I was just talking with Vincent here. Yes, come in, gentlemen. Rather a late hour to be calling, isn't it? Not when you're after a sneaking thief that shoots a man from ambush, Vincent. What? What are you talking about? Grant, are these men after you? Why didn't you tell me? Why, you low down? I was Barrett, wondering why you came riding in so fast a minute ago. Ran right into the house here. Oh, that's a lie, and you know it, Vincent. I suppose both of you simmer down and let Cassidy here do the talking. Thanks, Sheriff. We've come for the man who shot and robbed Chet Wilson. But it's you we want, Vincent, not Barrett. <laughs> oh, you are crazy, Cassidy. You got the idea <laughs> you'd miss something in Wilson's saddlebag. Maybe a list of the serial numbers of the money you stole. I went back tonight to have another look. <laughs> well, if I'd stolen that money, I might have done something like that. But anybody would have done that after reading this paper. Look here, see this hat? Sure, I see it all right. Well, well, what makes you think I went looking for something in a lost saddlebag then? Because that paper happens to be a special one, just for you, Vincent. What? That's right, Vincent. Only two copies was made. One was put in your mailbox, and we took the other over to the Wilson. You're lying. Hold out your hands, Vincent. Why should I? Because they're bound to have lamp black on. Hoppy sprinkled it all over them saddlebags. Why, <laughs> you... Look out, Hoppy! He's got a gun! Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Well, you can call it a hunch or whatever you want to, Cassidy, but it sure worked out perfect. I'll say it did. Vincent had to admit the whole thing. And what's more, he tore up the note right in front of us for the sheriff to come off to jail. Well, that's a load off our minds anyway. What give you the idea it was Vincent, Mr. Cassidy? Oh, a couple of things. He had the most to gain, so he was a natural to be suspected. But when we talked to him yesterday and told him your husband had been shot and robbed, he acted mighty funny. How do you mean, Cassidy? Well, he didn't ask how bad you were shot for one thing, which is what a man usually asks first. Vincent seemed to forget that, since he already knew. By golly, that's right. Come to think of it. And another thing. Whoever it was that did the shooting was a mighty poor shot, hitting you in the leg that way, Chet. And since young Barrett had the reputation of being a good hand with a gun, I figured Vincent must have fired the shot. Of course, uh, thinking Vincent was guilty and proving it was two different things. You must have thought you knew more and you let on. Or he wouldn't have tried to get you on your way back from town yesterday. Say, where'd Francis go? Why, uh, I, I think she's out talking to the new foreman. New foreman? What are you talking about, Sarah? Now, you just keep your shirt on, Chet Wilson, but I've just hired one. You know, we need a foreman now. Yeah, I guess so. Who'd you hire? 
I can't afford to pay much, you know. I hired Grant Barrett, and he stays hired. After all, he saved Mr. Cassidy's life when Vincent pulled a gun. That's right, Wilson. Well, uh, doggone. <laughs> Look out of the window here. Why, that young... He's kissing my daughter. <laughs> From the looks of things, Wilson, I'd say you wouldn't have to worry about pay. I've got another hunch that Barrett won't demand much in the way of wages. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Hoppy played a hunch right, and with Grant Barrett cleared, looks like there'll be wedding bells at the Wilson Ranch. Hoppy and California ride into another exciting experience when they arrive in Paradise, New Mexico, and discover the townspeople are put to work on slave gangs, and where Satan is the sheriff. Be sure to be with Hoppy when he meets up with a jailer named Satan. Up Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Hoppy Plays a Hunch was written by R.T. Smith, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs> <laughs>